This tutorial is how to explore GitHub data to text file step by step. First of all, I'm gonna add a new web form with the name export gb to form. Now I'm gonna add a div tag, div align equal to center, and I'm gonna add one more, two more div tag. First div tag for heading. So heading is h1 export git view data to text file, and second div is to add a button, and uh, third div is to add grid view. Yes three div is added and uh, let's change the text of this button button text is load data font size font bold true okay now I, I have added one more button this button to uh, use to export data export grid view to text file okay now I just resize the grid view now connect SQL server this is the SQL server authentication yes now my database is programming DB select star from user info underscore tab yes these are the records in the database table user info underscore tab and I will load that data from the SQL server database table to grid view in that case, I'll use uh, link queue connection data class data context is equal to new data class data context. This is my data context data class file and uh, the code to load data in grid view. Let's check with the view in browser. Load data, yes, the data loaded in the grid view successfully. Now go to the second button export data. Okay. First of all, response.clear, then response.buffer equal to true, then response.add header. Header is con content hyphen disposition, then attachment. File name. For the file name, it will export with the file name gb in text.txt. Response.cursor equal to blank response dot content type equal to application of the text then string builder sb text equal to new string builder to use the string builder you should add no space using system dot text is using system dot text is added as no space now add a loop for loop for into the c equal to 0 c less than grid 1 dot columns dot count c plus plus then add subtext dot fn grid 1 dot columns columns is c dot header text this loop is to add header text in the text file now subtext dot fn r and r and slash r and backslash r and use to start uh, the line in new line start from new line okay now i'm gonna add one more for loop to get row to get data from grid view and export it to text file to fetch it in the text file okay now this for loop is used to column first for is for row and second one is for columns and then subtext.fn give you on dot rows i dot cell j dot text then sb dot text dot fn it's a start from new line okay now response dot output dot write sb text dot twisting response dot flush and then response dot int okay now it's done oh contact is content okay spelling mistake okay now it's rectified content type and disposition okay 
now right click view in browser yes load data and then export data open with oh no data in the text file text file is created but no data is extracted no data is fetched from the grid view why first of all i have to declare columns in the grid view so columns as a bound field data field and header text equal to blank okay i have six columns okay user id username yes user id first column is for user id second is for username third column is address fourth column is age fifth column is sex and last column is date of birth okay it's added now go to the view in browser load data export data oh it's uh, displaying duplicate must add auto generate column false auto generate column equal to false yes reload load data yes now it's working fine yes successfully added the text data from the uh, grid view to text file but uh, there is not a single space it's not segregated with the uh, as like columns so to do it i have to add a space at least uh, to segregate the columns in that case go to the code and then add a space after the f end yes now it will add the space of each column okay yes now you can see user id space username 100 user id space trump space liverpool space address is all are the added with a single space thanks for watching this tutorial